What's going on YouTube? I just trade here with a little update on what I'm expecting from tomorrow, my watch list and some plays I am potentially going to get in and some I'm already in. Now before we go any further, if this is your first time tuning in, take a moment to consider subscribing to my channel, smash that like button, come follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Isaac's Trade, and please remember, none of this shit's a recommendation, and do your own DD and confirm the news. Now, what I am going to be watching tomorrow is CPI. CPI will be key tomorrow, but lots of hints of more um, pressure, and I think a lot of people like uh, should be careful because we have debt ceiling, we have spending bills, plus we have a uh, pal coming in next week, and September... Um, usually September is a pretty exciting week, but because it gives you an idea of what happens, a lot of people are expecting a lot to happen. I'm uh, expecting basically a high print from uh, CPI, so we'll see exactly what it has. For all of you that aren't too sure with CPI, it basically lets us know what consumers, what consumers are spending, like prices, uh, fuel, uh, travel, expense, uh, expen uh, expenses, and shit like that. So. Come in tomorrow for my live stream. We'll explain a little bit more. But um, if it comes in anything less, it should be pretty bullish. So hopefully that will happen. Um, we have lots of uh, money that's basically being raised through uh, sales and bonds offerings. So basically keep an eye out for any kind of um, any kind of deals, especially with the end of fiscal year coming up. And then uh, some news. Basically the only news we had today was the damn uh, Walmart fake news. So, I mean, that was basically the only thing we had out there. Fake press release. Um, other than that, it was what Apple's um, rushes to block spyware, uh, and uh, pff, that's basically it. Not really too much. I mean, even though you know, spy basically did recover after today, but I will be watching tomorrow um, AT and T because uh, TMZ is supposed to be acquiring um, VNE for thirty seven dollars a share, and I'm already actually in the AT and T play um, because of the Berkshire Hathaway grabbing a stake in AT and T. And also keep an eye out for Toyota because there's a they they can be getting it from the tax break for the EV. And then JP uh, Morgan says um, it's basically time to uh, take some of your profits from the tech because during the reopening um, rivalry. And Capital One is testing the buy now pay later, and Taco Bell is testing the 30 day taco subscription. So that, you know, we'll see how that goes. That pay now, pay later. That's pretty awesome. A lot of people are loving it. I know my wife, she loves that stuff. Um, as far as plays a day, all I did was sell out of my short positions for the SPY. I should have went long, but um, I just sold those out. And I still have my Baba short positions, my uh, DD short positions, because like I said, I um, am anticipating that the China escalation baby mama drama will continue downward and I will be watching actually Ford is one of the plays I will be watching tomorrow because of also the tax break and reopening rival trade basically and pff, I'm going to be watching BBIG and life because life actually had some pretty good news so I mean a lot of people think life was actually a pretty hype play but um it's actually a pharmaceutical company they actually had what was it the phase 1b 2a clinical trials for their um ATYR 1923 um, I haven't really looked into it, but it did hit the wire all over the place. So I know a lot of people were kind of wanting to short that one. So be careful with it. And basically, yeah, at t Fuel Cell, BBIG, Life, and Ford are the ones that I'm going to be watching tomorrow. And keep an eye on the SPY just to make sure that it can actually recover after today. It was pretty impressive. But uh, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. That's basically what I got for you. Uh, don't forget to tune in my live stream tomorrow. We'll be live a little bit early. I uh, hope to see you there. And I'm out.